In this tutorial, I go over the retopology process in Houdini. This isn't going to be a step-by-step -step guide, but more a general overview of the retopology process in Houdini. I've done retopology in ZBrush and Maya, and decided to give Houdini a try. So, let's get into it. Let's pick a geometry node. Open the geometry node and place a file node. Once we have the file node, let's select the geometry that we wish to retopologize. In my case, it will be this male head. Let's go up one level and rename it from Geo1 to male head. To start the retopology process, simply click the model tab. And then from there, pick Topo Build. Select your mesh and press enter. So Houdini will create a new geometry node for us, which will contain our retopoed mesh. To begin the process, simply click where you'd like to place faces. We're going to try to maintain horizontal and vertical symmetry. Once we've created the loop around the eye, let's create the loop around the muzzle. Once we're happy with this loop, middle mouse button to confirm. Next up, we'll move on to the loop around the ear. Once again, maintaining vertical and horizontal symmetry. We'll now select the brush tool. The brush tool allows us to nudge vertices and edges. We can control the brush size by holding down shift, right clicking and dragging. We'll now create a loop that runs around the head. We do this to prevent too many edges running down into the neck. The next tool we'll be using is the edge slide. Simply select the edge and drag. The edge slide tool slides an edge along the surface. We'll just fill in some of the faces. We're now using the smooth brush to smooth out some of the faces. We'll create another pole just behind the jaw.
From here we'll bring in this loop under the chin. From here, we'll just fill in the faces around the neck and the chin. We now move on to the mouth. I place the same amount of faces on the lip as the surrounding muzzle loop. I now move back to the smooth tool, but instead of using the brush, I hit the smooth all button which applies a smooth flood. I now wish to check what the mirrored retopology will look like. To do this, I drop in a mirror node. And increase the consolidate seam amount. and I'll position the vertices to snap and weld in the center. Once I'm happy then all my points are running down the center of the face, I select the slice tool and add some more edge loops. The next step is to add some topology to the nose. To do this, we add five faces. We then join these two faces. and add an edge loop. We then bring a loop up from the mouth and onto the nose. We now move on to the ear. 
for the ear, the flow of the topology isn't too important since the ear does not deform as much as the face. Once we are happy with our retopology, we can once again adjust some vertices on the scene. I then increase the consolidate seam amount. I do this just to make sure that all our vertices along the center are snapping and welding. If you wish, you could add a subdivide node. The great thing about TopoBuild is we can chain multiple TopoBuild nodes. I connect another one, connect the subdivide node to the first input and object merge into the second. I then go back to the smooth tool and smooth all. That allows the new subdivided mesh to conform to the original geometry better. All right, that's about it for this Retopo tutorial. If you found this helpful at all, don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching.